It's always our mission to give you the facts, not fuel your fear about COVID-19. So today we're talking about a new study from JAMA Ophthalmology. The report shows a connection between this strain of coronavirus and our eyes. Here to explain this is our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Dr. Coley, good morning. Good morning, Natasha. So we've known that COVID is a respiratory infection. How did we become interested in looking at the eye? Yeah, so it's it's very interesting, actually. The first reports of this infection came out of Wuhan, China, from a Chinese ophthalmologist, Dr. Li Wen Liang. And it was it was him that noticed that some of his patients were progressing to have this severe pneumonia or or illness, and that's how he reported this. Unfortunately, he later contracted the virus and died, but it's not clear whether he got it from contact with the patient's eyes. But it's not all that far-fetched if you think about it, because often when we have a respiratory illness, because our nasal passages are connected to our eyes, it can also cause tearing, swelling, and changes in the eyes. So that's how we first became interested in this connection. Can you talk more about how it affects the eyes, what kind of you know, reaction that we would see? Yeah, so this small study that looked at 38 patients, so not a huge study, but it did tell us that about one in three patients had some kind of a change in the eye. The most common thing was conjunctivitis, which usually manifests itself as either redness or excess blood vessel growth on the whites of our eyes. We also saw things like swelling of the eyes, excess tearing, and excess secretions. Hmm, that's very interesting. What can you take away from this new information? Is there anything that we can do? Yeah, so what we can take away is basically that the eye could actually be a marker of severe illness because the people that tended to have eye symptoms were the ones that then went on to have a more severe course. And they also swabbed the eye of the patients that had eye symptoms, and about 18% of them actually had viral particles in their conjunctiva. So it seems like the virus actually affects the eye directly, and the tears could be another thing that could be a potential infectious source. So as the doctors are learning about this, we're learning about more and more ways in which this spreads, and it is a possibility that tears or secretions from the eye could also be infectious in spreading the virus. Interesting. Um, you know, is this going to be in conjunction with other symptoms, so you might feel a fever, a cough, and also eye problems, or is this something that we've seen kind of stand alone from that persistent cough and fever? Yeah, great question. It's usually in conjunction with those other symptoms. So you usually do still have a lot of those symptoms of severe illness, but the eye involvement could potentially be an alert to the doctors that maybe you have more severe involvement and you may be somebody who needs more aggressive treatment earlier. It's hard to distinguish between, you know, watery eyes. It is allergy season after <laughs> all. Um, so it's good to know that those other markers will still be in place so you can distinguish. I mean, you wouldn't have a fever during allergy season. Right, exactly right. Yeah, if it's just isolated eye symptoms, I don't want people to worry. That's not what the study is showing. But if it's eye symptoms in the setting of some of the other systemic symptoms, cough, shortness of breath, fever, that's when we really start to think a little bit more about a serious course. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much.